What's the going goings on out there, Ozone Awards? I go by the name of Charlemagne the God, the Hood General. Voice of the gutter when I speak to streets, listen. Take a good look at this face so you know exactly who to shoot at. <laughs> now, I hope y'all enjoying the award show thus far. And I know it's gonna be a lot of after parties after this big function. I know that y'all gonna be drinking. I just want y'all to drink responsibly. I know y'all gonna be on that promethazine and codeine, that scissor. But tonight, just fall back, cause, cause I don't want y'all to end up in a gay situation like this. What's this? I don't know how y'all gave Lil Wayne and Baby a pass after that, man. That's not the only thing I want y'all to be easy on. It's a rock vodka. It's a smooth vodka and all that. But don't drink too much of it. Or you might start thinking gay ass thoughts about other dudes like this. Oh, Rick Ross. Rick Ross. That's all I'm going to say for now. Did you see that shit? We got to see that in slow motion, man. Did you see the licking of Diddy's lips? The gleam in his eye? See, this is why I don't want y'all drinking too much Ciroc vodka. You're despicable. <laughs> Charlemagne the God presents South Cracker Hour in stores and online August 19th. We here, we, um, we want to thank you, come here, don't, don't sit on the bed or nothing, no homo, no, just, just don't get close to the bed, don't get close to the bed, but it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man, man, you, you, it's been a pleasure, you didn't have to do it, and you did it. No, no, I definitely didn't have to do it, I, I definitely didn't have to, uh, first and foremost, I'm not getting the bed, uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did, I'm just gonna, if we can, just, let's, let's just put the camera a little this way, just so we're not, I don't want my shot to even, like, I don't want it to come close to the bed, at all. I should look like he fresh off a goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's how, I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented, you know what I'm saying, but it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, all for the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early with me. <laughs> now he's one of the richest stars yo, in the world. And I'm yo, like, what, what the, the fuck, fuck did Puff just say? Nobody's, Nobody's gonna acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes. And we're streaming live. Up, that was stupid. Listen, that was fucking stupid. Listen. Yeah, we having a good time, yo. Are you usher me? Mr. Lee, what, yeah, I love this drink. You put my bag you? I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, when you put my bag Daddy, I like when, you, oh, when you're right scrambling here, right and here. scraping no, for no, shit. No, 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 no. I, got I no like shit. that. You know, I'll be practicing. I got yeah. Mr. Lee, what, yeah, I love this drink. Well, you put my bag I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, well, you put my bag Daddy, I like Mr. when you oh, when you right scrambling and scraping. When you oh, when you scrambling and scraping for shit. No, Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna go over with that one. Make a wish. Just oh, blow it out. It's your no, birthday no. every day. Every day is your birthday on Drink okay. Champs, goddammit. I'm in. Where I look, look back me? on where I became. Mm. Did you miss me, though? Mm. For real, because we, I'm I saying, miss, it seems like a thing. I miss it's just birthday party. Puff, man. man I miss but I'm talking about for you. your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we, we partied for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, mm. No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Eyes, eyes. <laughs> Eyes, eyes, brother. Oh, eyes, 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 eyes. I understand. I understand. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 yo, okay. So check this out. It's me, Tyrese, Ray J, and F. Gary Gray. You know, I'm a type of nigga. I like variety, man. I like people that's unpredictable. I, you know what I'm saying? I like different personalities. So I was like, I never knew they would become what they are today. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? But like, you know. Mm -hmm. I, that sounded like the type of night I want to have in Vegas. You right. know what I'm saying? Okay. So So Tyrese kept yeah, on talking. This is a fight. This is a Floyd fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tyrese mm -hmm. keep on talking about like how you got to get back for church. 
And we just like, yo, the night ain't start. You got to get back for church. We in motherfucking <laughs> Vegas, nigga. We're like, you can go to church next week. You know what I'm saying? Sending send your thing. You know what I'm saying? Number we in Vegas. Don't be bringing God <laughs> into the city. Don't church. bring God, God into this situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Every Gray is like, nigga, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you got um, Ray J. So Ray J is like just really like feeling like Ray J right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, yo. Walked in. Don't do that. Yeah, God. that's what I said. That's why I said no. let me pick it up. I know that's why I gotta pick it up from right there. No. This is like, why I gotta pick it up from right there. Look at this nigga. This is a bad thing, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 bro. Take killing. Look, bro. Come tell the story. Bro, bro, we are intoxicated. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, oh, bro, oh, bro, you bro, helped me build that yeah, beautiful, that nice guy, Rastafari brand of yours, huh? Me, yeah. I, I see in, you, man. I'm walking yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy yeah, birthday, birthday, birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday. This <laughs> fabulous. The only nigga that got the name that I want. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank you, my brother. Um, yeah. Let's take a shot for that one. <laughs> Is there anything that you want to talk about that? I want, uh, I want to talk about. You want people to know about? Oh, I don't know if the story that I have about P Diddy is a thing. Oh, I love, know I love about. it. You, you think it's something we didn't talk about it on the show, but you told us off the show. Should I just tell you? Yeah, I mean, okay. I'd love to. I mean, listen, this isn't alleged because you it happened. No, to no, you. no. There's nothing alleged about this. Okay, it is a legend. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. We clap, are comedians. Clap, clap. All right, I'm go for it. We're so lonely. So. Um, <laughs> so I'm fucking god. I went to a party on Star Island in Miami, uh, where P. Diddy has a private residence. I mm -hmm. had no business being there. Mm -hmm. I was with a famed uh, house producer who was DJing the party. Sure. And I will keep his name out of it. Yep. And I took a whole bunch of ecstasy because everyone there was taking ecstasy. It was basically me and like beautiful, like ethnic models, mm -hmm. like just beautiful women. Who I obviously had no interest in because like, yeah, that's it's a, a, the big pimpin video. That's not my type. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna stick to Peppa, please. Yeah, we're gonna stick to Peppa, <laughs> Peppa. And, and ghouls from Us Weekly. <laughs> right, right. Um, so I'm, I'm like kind of stumbling around. It's like you know, it's all like you know, my man is telling me that like you know, every third person is some executive. Mm -hmm. You know, got behind the scenes guys who I don't recognize. It's a high end crowd, very high end, and okay. there's no joke. There's maybe a hundred people. Okay. I mean, it is intimate. It's a serious. I have serious no business party. being there. Sure, I'm in like a you know like an old Jewish grandmother's windbreaker, like <laughs> I am now <laughs> right, at this right. exact moment. Right, and um. So, long story short, I am on ecstasy, and I'm trying to find the bathroom, and mm -hmm. I can't find the bathroom, and, and I just kind of like go down a flight of stairs, and now I'm in like the inner windings of the mansion, because yeah. most of it's going down by the pool. Okay. You know, cabanas and stuff. Dragon's Lair. Yeah, dragon it. yeah, we're getting serious. So, I get lost, and I'm in like just a maze of rooms. Yeah. Now, I'm looking for the bathroom. I start opening doors. One's like a closet. One's a room. It doesn't have a bathroom in it. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Um, every room should have a bathroom in it. That makes sense. First of all, if you're in this fucking every dungeon, room should yeah, have, right. every house so should I have, open yeah. a door and in that room, there are a bunch of men mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're all kind of like very like Romanesque, like laying about and, you know, kind of like very like kind of leaning on each other, not really spooning, but like conversationally spooning. Like if you were spooning, but facing each other and like leaning up on your elbow and like, talking. Like, how about this? Like in public watching TV with a bunch of your friends and you're with your girlfriends. Right. Yes. It would be like those guys kind of lounging on their girlfriends, but they're not fucking because that no, would be weird in public. Fucking, right. Like you almost think that they should be feeding each other grapes, uh -huh. you know, stuff like that. Okay. Like, it was very like regal was lounging. Very erotic. Okay. All right. Heavy erotic. Yeah. Like uh, like the drawings you would see of like old Greek. Yes. Uh, right, hangouts. Exactly. Yeah, I or, like a, or like a fat Greek woman like laid on her side. Yeah, it you would know? almost be the prelude to an orgy. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. It was so prelude okay. to an orgy. So, so explain. So I look. So I have. I'm there for a very brief amount of time because I open the door and clearly I'm not supposed to be in there. And I look, and who is lounging in my direct eye line? Puff Daddy <laughs> and Felix the House Cat, famed house music producer. Yeah. No, I know are who that is. Basically spooning each other. <laughs> I swear to God, they're basically spooning and they're drinking a glass of Hennessy. And they're like sharing it. They're like passing it back and forth. And everyone's talking. And everyone's just like talking. Yeah. And then as soon as I see them, I'm like, all men though. There's not all one woman in this room. All men. And yeah. they're all, they're all 100% on ecstasy. Like you can see Diddy's in like white linen being like, 
my oh, God. Man. Like rub ice on my nipples. Right. You know, like, <laughs> right. oh, you're one of my best friends. Right. So the minute I make eye contact with him, like a gigantic bouncer comes over and says, get the fuck out. Because a lot of people turned and looked at me because it was very unexpected that like a fat guy with an afro, right. with, like no shirt on basically, like a, an open windbreaker, <laughs> right. opened the door right. to like this like... You are kind of a buzzkill. Definitely. If I'm on ecstasy right, and getting no, ready for a gay like, orgy. Oh, this guy. <laughs> oh, he looks like fucking uh. Juliet Jean Shaladin. <laughs> you know? So... um but I looked right at Puff Daddy, and he looked right at me. Yeah. And we made direct eye contact. And I got kicked out of the room. Sure. So that was that. Yeah, fast. And obviously so, crazy. Fast crazy. forward. So I was like, P. Diddy's clearly on ecstasy, and he's, yeah. he's clearly gay. Yeah. So fast forward, right? We're at a junket for a movie that he was in. Uh, someone is interviewing him. I'm in the back as a friend of someone who was there. Mm-hmm. I'm all the way in the back. I'm behind a million publicists, a million people. But you see him. Well, he's being interviewed on and the couch. And you're thinking about it. Oh, I'm thinking about it the whole time. Yeah. By the way, anyone I ever told the story to was like, oh, you're a liar. I don't think you're a liar. Everybody was like, you're a liar. Like, I'm sure something happened and they knew I was on Star Island. Like, that was verified yeah. by the other person I was with. Sure. But people were like, you're a liar. You didn't see them sharing a glass of Hennessy. Like, you didn't see Prelude to like an orgy. Like, this is bullshit. Like, right. you're being funny. Like, fat you's hilarious. Sure. So, um, a couple of people said they believe me, but I think they were lying. So <laughs> um, he looks, he's being interviewed in the middle of the interview for this movie. I mean, I'm sure you can guess what movie it is. Because I think he was only in a movie. Right. Um, at least recently. Yes. He literally stops the interview and he points at me all the way in the back and he goes, yo, you, my man. And everyone in the room turns around and looks at me and he goes, where do I know you from? Oh, no. And then I go, Miami. And he goes, oh, True. And we locked eyes again, and he knew that I knew that he knew that I knew that he knew that I knew <laughs> that he drinks the milk of other men. Wow. I, this happened. Has anything happened since? No. Nothing. There's been no follow-up. Were now, you nervous at all in like a Breaking Bad kind of way that maybe people were going to be sent to your house or something? Like, a oh, 100%. Because I'd be a little nervous. See, now, what, what I'm doing to combat that yeah. is by talking about it publicly on, on and then you're, podcasts. Yeah, because this will come back. Right, yeah. right. Because yeah. I'm most safe if I talk about it publicly. That's so crazy. Right. Because now people know yeah. that I've got dirt. Yeah. So, like, I need you to hold this podcast No, it's, down. it's archived. Yo, this is going to be some Jason Bourne shit. No, You're I gonna know. You're going to have it on, like, a tiny microfilm, <laughs> and they're going to be chasing you across what Europe. What a great movie, though. What a great movie of you running around the country scared that your gay, no, no, your gay visions... No, better movie. I get killed. Okay. You're running around the country <laughs> with a tiny, microscopic-sized um, thing of this podcast, right. and they're trying to get it from you. Right. Cause if they with just, a baby doll, an asshole. <laughs> Run the whole way running. It's inside of a baby doll. It's in the <laughs> eye it. of a baby doll that's, that's in your asshole. No, no, it's a baby. I put it in the baby doll because if I get in trouble, I could put it in my asshole put because you ass. taught me about baby dolling. Any, honestly, we could pitch this podcast. Scott to- Rudin. If, I, I don't know if he listens, but we could pitch this we to the could, Weinsteins, we Rudin, this, Kevin, anyone. We could walk this podcast right into Paramount. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Yeah, boy, fan of you, so. Vibrations. And everyone's gay once in a while. I'm not gay. This How about we do this? Travis Scott, man. Ha! Gay! Hey, yo, Toronto, we come to your city. Okay, Atlanta. Okay, got copy. 2020, but I can't see 20, but I can't see 20, but I can't Somebody see 20, come and look but at this. I can't see 20, but 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 I can't you know, all um, dudes. Yeah, yeah, nah. It was actually a good party. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It, it was at, on South Beach, right? Right. So then we, you know, we go to the house, and then you know, uh, he he invited us to the house because he wanted to go to the club afterwards. Right? I was like, right. okay, cool. Mm-hmm. So Superhead is with me. You know what I'm saying? Karen Karen is, is with me. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Superhead. Yeah. So she takes me. She, you know, she Puffy calls me outside. He's like, hey man, you know the um. That, that girl you you know about the girl you were. I was like, yeah, nigga, I don't, yeah everybody know, but you know what I'm saying? What's happening? You know what I'm saying? He's like, uh, you know, that's the devil, man. 
You know what I'm saying? I was like, what you mean that's the devil? The devil got a pretty mouth. Yeah, I was like, what you mean that's the devil? You know, and then he was like, yeah, man, she she videotaped you with fingers in the booty. That's a new movie. You know movie. what I'm saying? I was the like, what? The devil sucks like, penis. Yo, what the fuck are you talking oh, about? We rewind, rewind. I heard a penis and a finger and an yeah. ass going, what? She said, he, he, he so gonna, Puffy tells you that he gonna, she. She will videotape you with fingers in the booty. Yeah, and I was like, mean. what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, you what know does what that mean? Confession. So then, so then I go back in the house and I ask her, what the fuck are you talking about? He, he well, you said, you're a filmer. No, I, I did ask him. He's just like, whatever. He, he went off and did his thing. And I was, was like, he okay. limping? No. <laughs> <laughs> he walked away and the nail fell out of his boot. No, I'm going to clear this shit up. Because I'm not going to have my name out there crazy I'm like that. Out. Go ahead, go ahead. So then, so then, so then, so then he said, so then she said, uh, I told him what she, he told me. And she was like, oh, she started laughing like a mother. I'll tell you later. So then, so then I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to make a big deal of it, whatever. So, so then he's you know then, then I guess he's had some prior incident with her that he don't want nobody to know about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we get into the truck. He said, "Let's go to this club." So everybody piling the, tr the, the car. The car is fucking silent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we get to this club and then we walk in the back the back way. It's a VIP lounge. Ain't nobody in there. And then you know the club is going. It's all jumping. And then I'm sitting there with with old girl. So I, so so then, so then, so then uh, you know, he he's doing his business. We go down and get a drink. You know, we sitting there bobbing to the music, and then he say, she point over the corner. It's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. Then it's girls in the club too, and then she point another direction. It's another dude over there, like butt ass naked dancing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We take off, man. You know what I'm saying? We leave the club so directly. Saying, I didn't say peace to nobody. So I didn't see nobody. Gay. Yeah, it was it was a lot suspect. Of a lot of a lot, lot of suspects. The club was called. You could chalk it up. You could chalk it up to being in Miami or whatever. I never blame it on the. I've been in a gang. I've been in a gang of clubs, man. The club was called. And I ain't never I ain't never mistakenly stepped into a club having that kind of activity. You know what I'm saying? Me neither. There it is. So we took a cab home back to where I was. And yeah, yeah. I sometimes I ask myself. Stuff like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid to be loved the way like I really want to be loved, but that I know how I really want to be loved, but I'm, but I'm like scared to really, really feel that, you know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it.